Excuse me, would you mind giving me a oh, minute to... I'm so sorry, I, I didn't hear you come in. Um, I'll just go. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, I, um, I just got a phone call. Um, it's not important. Excuse me. No, you stay. I'll use the one downstairs. Take as long as you need. For what it's worth, but... I hope everything is okay. Thank you. Excuse me, Mr. Spector. I know you, you're... From last night. I, uh, wanted to return this. You were very kind, thank you. It's nothing, I was just hoping everything was okay. Actually, that's the reason that I'm here. What do you mean? I was upset last night because I got a call from my mother. She needs an operation and I can't afford it. What are you asking? I've worked enough overtime hours to make having that operation possible, but they won't pay me overtime because my title was facilities manager. I don't manage anything. I was hoping maybe I'd you... be able to get you your money. Yes. Listen, Miss... Anna. Anna Reed. Anna, your employer is my landlord. So if I get involved, things could get very complicated. But it's a simple matter of paying me for my work. And if that were true, why would he listen to me when he didn't listen to you? Because people like me don't matter to people like them. I'm just the lady that cleans their toilet. Please, Mr. Spector. I'm not proud to ask you for this, but my mother needs this, and when it comes to taking care of people we love, pride has no place. Okay. Look, I can't promise anything, but I'll try. Thank you. I knew you were kind. Don't tell me, you're dating the cleaning woman now. And what if I was? I'd say congratulations. But why don't you tell me why she was here? I ran into her in the bathroom last night. She was crying. The building isn't paying her what she's owed, and she asked me to look into it. You mean she asked you to pick a fight with our landlord, who I shouldn't have to tell you is a mean son of a bitch, and this is a bad idea. Robert, I'm not an idiot, and I'm not picking any fights with David Fox. I'm gonna talk to the man for two minutes. If he doesn't see it my way, that's it. Trust me. Okay, Harvey, I trust you. David Fox, I'm Harvey Specter. Of uh, something, something Specter lit. Don't tell me us changing our name is going to be an issue again. No, it's not. Donna Paulson saw that in your new lease. Well, Donna has a way of getting what she wants. Speaking of what people want, why don't you tell me why you're here? I need your help. There's a cleaning woman on our floor who can't afford to pay her mother's medical bills. Turns out, technically, she's a facilities manager, which means she's not eligible to make overtime. A maid with a manager's title? I mean, sounds to me like she's being empowered. You and I both know that title is just a way to get around paying what she's earned. I don't know any such thing. Oh, bullshit. She's your employee. Wrong. I contract all my cleaning services out to another company, a company I don't run. You gonna tell me that company is anything more than a piece of paper and a P.O. box? Why don't you pay them a visit and find out? Listen, David, all I'm asking is do the right thing. Pay her for her work. You know, why don't you reach into your own pocket? Because that's what you're asking me to do. And you know, I do this for her, I gotta do it for everyone. And if you don't do it for her, you will have to do it for everyone. You better watch what you say to me, because in case you forgot, you're still living under my roof. And if you don't back off, I'll take that roof and everything else you have, because you just violated half a dozen laws by threatening a tenant. You want to take me on, you go for it. Because I didn't get where I am by letting people like you push me around. Last time, Donna kicked your ass. Well, I'm not Donna. So you pay my client what you owe her. Anna, it's Harvey Specter. I've got good news. I've decided to take care of you myself. Good. Because I showed up to work this morning and they told me I was fired. And that I shouldn't bother applying to it. Anna, I got something I can't reschedule right this second. I'm gonna have to- Please, Mr. Specter, I was in horrible shape before, but now I don't know what to do. Look, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna call you back in five minutes. You're gonna tell me exactly what happened because I'm not gonna let them get away with this. Okay, Harvey, what the hell is going on with that cleaning woman? Robert, you said you weren't gonna pick a fight and you did, and now our elevators aren't working. You wanna know what's going on? David Fox just retaliated against Anna by firing her, and I'm about to knock his teeth out. You will do no such thing. Relax, Robert, we can handle a clogged toilet or two. Did you hear what I just said? I'm not talking about toilets. 
The man just shut down our elevators. And I'm not gonna let us start losing clients because you decided the cleaning staff is more important than the needs of this firm. And I didn't do anything that you didn't sign off on. Bullshit. You said that you were gonna have a two-minute conversation with the man. And if that's all you did, he wouldn't be sabotaging our offices. Well, you know what, Robert? I don't care what he's doing to us. I care what he's doing to her. What did you just say? I said I don't care what he's doing to us. Well, I do. Excuse me? You heard me, Harvey. I don't know what it is you think you're doing, but it needs to stop. I don't believe this. You're siding with him. Yes, Harvey, I am. And you're not gonna wanna hear this either, Harvey, but I am too. Because if you keep escalating this, it's not just gonna be about broken elevators. He's gonna find a way to kick us out of the building. Well, none of you are gonna wanna hear this, but I don't give a shit whether he kicks us out of the building or not. That's enough. You don't go to war with the guy that owns your house over something like this. End it. And end it today.